Hello and welcome to this VLUX Daylight Visualizer tutorial. In this video, I'm going to start working on a sample project and show you how to draw the walls of a building. I've just launched the program and as you can see, I'm prompted to select between three main options, either to start a new project, to open an existing project, or to import a project that I've created in a different program. In this case, I'm going to select New Project. Before I can start my project, I'm asked to select the grid spacing. The grid spacing is important because all objects in the model will snap to the grid. So make sure you choose a size that's appropriate for your project. In this case, I want to set the grid to 500 millimeters. You can always edit the grid either by typing Ctrl and G or through the edit menu. Now that I've set the grid, I'm ready to start drawing the external walls of the building. Notice how all viewports update as I'm drawing, and that the walls snap to the grid. It's only possible to draw horizontal and vertical lines, so if you need to model a building of a different shape, you'll have to do that in a different program and then import it into Valix Daylight Visualizer. The dimensions displayed on the floor plan view refer to the internal dimensions. To edit the walls in the building, I need to select them from the floor plan view by clicking on their center point until they turn green, and then I can drag them, or I can edit their dimensions from the menu below the floor plan view. In the same menu, I can also change their height or thickness which will update for all the walls in the building. For example, if I change their thickness now to 500 millimeters, all the walls have updated. In the Daylight Visualizer, it's not possible to delete a single wall. If I try to do that by selecting a certain wall and then typing delete, I'm given a warning that my entire project will be deleted. Now that I've finished adjusting the external walls of the building, I can move on to draw the inner walls. I need to move to the second tab and simply begin drawing just like I would the external walls. One main difference between inner and outer walls is that inner walls are treated as individual objects. For example, I can draw an inner wall that is freestanding, it does not need to connect with any other wall and it can have a different thickness than the other inner walls. In the same way, it's possible to delete an inner wall without affecting the rest of the project. Now I will move on to create some custom objects around my building. These are very useful when you want to model some simplified surroundings, such as trees, or if you want to draw an inner floor in your building. In this case, I want to draw some trees and a fence around the building. Here, I've zoomed out a bit in order to start drawing the building surroundings. When adding custom objects to the model, I find it easier to place them in the model first and then edit their dimensions using the menu below the floor plan view. Here, I'm trying to create a simplified tree next to my building. I will follow the same procedure to create two more trees. Now the trees are complete, so I will continue by drawing a fence around the building. I will continue the same way on all sides of the building. And finally, all the walls and external surroundings are complete. Thank you for watching this Valeux Daylight Visualizer tutorial. 